Hello and welcome to today's lecture on classification of compound and complex subjects with DDC 19th edition and this is the part 3 of our this lecture. In this we will discuss and refer with examples about how David decimal scheme of classification deals with classification of compound and complex subjects. I am Dr. Hassan Jamal Abidi former university librarian of Jamia Millia Islamia, a central university. Now, let us begin with the purpose of classification. The main objective of the libraries is to see that optimum use is made of their collections by leading every reader to the material he needs. Classification or systematic arrangement of the documents by subject helps to achieve this objective. To classify a collection of documents, place together the classes, those documents which belong to same class at one place and they have the same characteristics in all of them which are common in those documents and we want to separate them from documents which do not have those characteristics. For example, textile fabrics, these can be classified according to the process by which they are made. For example, knitted material, woven cloths, etcetera. Fabrics can also be classified according to the material from which they are made. For example, silk, cotton, wool, etcetera or according to the color red, blue, black, etcetera. Uh, librarians need to follow some uh, recognized system or schemes of classification to classify their collection. Some of the best known classification systems or schemes are David decimal classification Kulan classification of Ranganathan, Library of Congress classification and universal decimal classification. Out of these commonly used schemes or systems, Devi decimal classification is the oldest and the most widely used. The first edition of DDC appeared in the year 1876. New editions of it have appeared on regular basis since then. We have used 19th edition of DDC which is being used for classification practice by library and information science departments of many universities including IGNO and Jamia Millia Islamia. Now, we will discuss about synthesis of the class number, how we synthesize a class number. Class numbers of a large number of simple subjects are given ready made in the schedules of David decimal scheme of classification. The class numbers of complex subjects are usually synthesized or constructed by adding one number to another with the help of add two instructions. Now, synthesis or construction of a class number is very important. DDC is actually called an almost enumerative scheme of classification means 
almost all the subject numbers are enumerated in it. Large number of subjects are given enumerated ready made in the schedules of DDC. To classify a document, the classifier has just to pick an appropriate class number from the schedules and assign it to the document. But ready made class numbers are not available in case of complex subjects. Their class numbers have to be synthesized or constructed by the classifier following the add to instructions given in the schedules. The synthesis or construction of a class number simply means joining together more than one numbers from the schedules or tables. But we are not free to join any two numbers. There has to be a clear add to instruction in the schedules. To do so, only then we can join two numbers. Now, what is the base number? Base number is a very important number. This is the class number assigned to the basic or core subject of a document. Base number is actually like a foundation of a building. Further digits are added to the base number to synthesize the complete class number. The first thing we need to do while synthesizing the class number of a document dealing with a complex subject is to analyze the subject of the document to be classified and find out the basic or core subject it deals with. We assign class number to this basic or core subject from the schedules and we call it the base number. Base number as I said is like foundation of a building. So, while erecting a building we need to prepare a very strong base and on this base the building is erected. Similarly, while classifying a complex subject we first assign the base number. It is very important to assign the correct base number. Further digits will be added to this number as per the instructions given in the schedules to synthesize complete class number. Sufficient guidance has been provided in the schedules to identify the base number. Now we come to different approaches to classification. How can we classify a subject? There are two basic approaches to class classification. One is called direct approach which is through the schedules and we go directly to the schedules. Second is the indirect approach through index. We first go into index then see the up number from there. So, direct and indirect approach these are two approaches to find out the class number of any subject from the schedules. We might adopt either direct approach or indirect approach. Indirect approach actually we go to the schedules and search for the class number of a subject from the schedules. The preferred approach out of these two is the direct approach. There are three summaries of the schedules given in the first volume of DDC which helps the classifier to search the class number of any subject. First the classifier determines the uh, main class which is the main class. There are 10 main classes into which uh, all the knowledge has been divided by DDC. So, the classifier has to find out the main class uh, to which the work belongs. Having chosen the main class, then the classifier determines into which division uh, all the main classes are divided into 100 divisions. So, this is, this is also called the second summary. First division is called the first summary 10 main classes, then second summary is 100 divisions. So, this main class belongs to which division? Then in the same way the classifier determines the proper section 
or section is the third division, di third division of uh, the this broad main classes. So, it is called third summary. So, it is 1000 sections. So, or the, we, and subsections then until he comes to the most specific number. So, further subdivisions if required may be possible by following the instructions given in the schedules. So, this is the uh, direct approach. We go directly to the schedules through the summaries given in the first volume. First summary, second summary, third summary, then we go into the schedules and then we see the further subdivisions and then we add further digits from the schedule directions given the add to instruction in the some schedules. Then second approach is indirect. If we adopt indirect approach, then we search the class number through the relative index. The relative is index is an alphabetical list of subjects. This approach is for the beginners. So, he can see the name of the subject and search the probable number uh, from the index and go into the schedules. Actually, the index provides only leads to the schedules. It is not exhaustive and classifier should never classify solely from the index. So, after looking into the index, he has to come to the schedule. Add to instructions are very important. Now, we come to what are the add to instructions. We find many add to instructions scattered throughout the DDC schedules. These instructions facilitate synthesis of class numbers by allowing addition of digit or digits either from the schedules or from the tables or both to the base number. The classifier can synthesize or construct class number of complex subjects with the help of these add to instructions. Such instructions clearly specify the digits which are to be added to the base number. The instructions also specify the location from where these digits are to be taken. So, we use the multiple add to instructions in some cases means multiple uh, we have to use more than one instructions uh, add to instructions to classify some documents. So, actually today we will discuss about the examples which will use these instructions more than once. So, after finding the base number from the schedules, the numbers for other aspects of a complex subjects other than the ba basic subject are to be surged from the schedules or the tables and attached to, to or added to the base number by following the add to instructions given in the schedules. It is very important to learn how to follow these add to instructions to understand the process of synthesis of class numbers of complex subjects with DDC. Quite often we have to make use of these add to instructions more than once to synthesize the complete class number of a complex subject. These add to instructions may be of three categories. One add to instructions uh, add from the tables means some add to instructions direct us to add digits from the tables to the base number. Second category is those add to instructions uh, when add from the schedules means some add to instructions direct us to add digits from the another sequence in the schedules to the base number. Understanding the structure and use of DDC is possible only when you handle it with your hands. The more you practice to classify 
or to synthesize the class numbers of documents, the more confidence you gain as a classifier. So, you make it a habit to classify a few titles with DDC on a regular basis. You should focus on the procedure we follow while explaining the use of add to instructions given in the schedules of DDC. Understanding the use of add to instructions is very important for a classifier to become proficient in classifying the complex subjects with DDC. We shall now see the pro procedure of synthesizing the class numbers of few titles dealing with complex subjects with DDC. Now, we will take some concrete examples of the documents which we will classify with the help of DDC. These are all the examples of compound and complex subjects. The first title we will take is viral diseases in dogs. This is a title we have to classify it with DDC. So, firstly as we discussed earlier, we have to analyze it, analyze the title. It has got the core subject dogs. It is dealing with viral diseases of dogs. So, another aspect or one aspect of dogs is it is dealing is viral diseases. So, we have to first give the class number to this basic subject which we call the base number. So, we see uh, we have two approaches through which we can see the no class number of uh, this dogs subject dogs in the schedules direct approach we can go into the schedules and second approach is through the index as I told you. So, now better approach which is recommended is to go directly to the schedules. So, we go to the schedules, but before directly going into the schedules which is arranged by the class numbers from 000 to 999 in an ascending order, we take help of the summaries of the schedules. First summary as I told you is the 10 main classes, then second summary, third summary. So, we get broad subject number from there. So, we see into the schedules, so find out the number of animal husbandry in the third summary. So, now let us conclude today's discussion. We have discussed about synthesis of class numbers of the complex subjects by making use of add to instructions of DDC more than once. We took few examples to explain you the process of synthesis or number building of complex subjects carried out by multiple use of add to instructions given in the schedules of DDC. We understood that identification of the base number of complex subject is the first and the most important step in the direction of synthesis of a class number. The numbers for other aspects of the subject are then added or attached to the base number with the help of add to instructions given in the schedules. DDC is the basic tool which is needed to classify the documents. Therefore, you must be well acquainted with it, its structure and usage. It is possible if you regularly practice the use of DDC for classifying the titles. That is all we have for today. I hope you have understood how DDC or David Dissimilar Scheme of Classification 19th edition deals with classification of compound and complex subjects with the examples we have shared with all of you. We will see you again. Till then, take care and goodbye.